my friends. So, since I'm in the car right now, I'm driving to New Mexico, and it's gonna be like, I don't know how much time we have left, but it's a total of six hours, we've been driving for a couple hours. But I really wanted to make this video because a lot of people have been asking about it, and it's very unfortunate. Hold up. Okay. okay, so a lot of people have actually, I get emails and DMs and text messages and everything like so often and it's honestly pretty sad to me and no one talks about this topic so leave it to me to talk about it, right? That's what I'm here for, to talk about really weird and uncomfortable things because I give no fucks. So I actually made a video on this like a really long time ago and I still get comments to this day on it and it's basically how to get your period back and I told you guys you know I've always had issues with my period I lost a period like five times in my life and I've gotten it back like five times and um, that's one of the things that I'm working on now that I'm not in competition prep is getting my period back let's just preface obviously I'm not a doctor first thing you should ever do is talk to your doctor about this but just this is just my experience and my thoughts and like what I've been through so First of all, it's not normal not to get your period, like I said. And a lot of people, I feel like, in the fitness industry normalize this, and I think that that's an issue that we should discuss and and kind of let people know it is not normal to get your period. Like, we have periods for a reason. I don't care if you're having sex or not. I don't care if you ever want kids or not. It's still important to get your period because you increase your risk of osteoporosis and you increase your risk for heart disease. It's not only like, oh, like who cares about my bones, it's fine, you know what I mean? No, it's, you, you can increase your risk of heart disease and many other, many other things that are, you know, you can Google it, you know, Google has everything. But those are just two of the main things that, you know, we, we have a period for a reason, just like we have two kidneys for a reason. Like, sure, can you live without one kidney? Yes, but is that optimal to live in? No. So, you know, it's the same thing with your period. You can live without it. Obviously, people lose their period sometimes. Like, I lost it for two and a half years one time, which is not okay. Um, and it just cr causes more issues down the road. And if you really want to be healthy, then yeah, you should get your period every month. And Mine's always gonna be a regular. Mine always has been a regular, and that's just normal for me. But like to not get it at all um, is not good. And if you don't get it for six months or more, then technically, like you can have an underlying issue. You can have a hormone issue. You can have PCOS. A lot of people have PCOS and have have period issues. Or if you have it for you know you could have hypothalamic amenorrhea, which is basically in the hypothalamus. It's not signaling your ovaries to produce eggs and to get your period. So that's just a little scientific background. Again, you guys can Google it a little bit more. So first I just wanted to talk about the reason girls lose their period is basically because of stress and that has to do with physical stress, mental and, emo and emotional stress. When your body signals danger basically, the first thing that it does is shut down the, re the reproductive system because your body's number one goal in life <laughs> is to keep you alive and to maintain homeostasis. One thing that you don't need to, to stay living is your reproductive system. So in females, like obviously when you're dieting and exercising, things like that, your hormones drop, but when your period actually goes away, that's basically your body saying, signaling danger and telling you that something is not right. And like I said, it's because of stress, physical stress, such as too much exercise and or too little calories. Um, so it's basically, it could be due to an energy imbalance. Some people, you know, everyone is different. Let's just say that right now, which of course we all know this in regards to everything in life. But some people lose their period because of an energy imbalance, which means they're exercising too much and eating too little calories. And this can be different for everyone. Some people lose their period because they are underweight and it's like actually the scale weight. Some people are at a healthy weight, but their body fat is too low. So it could be due to just too low of body fat. Some people have a healthy, you know, a healthy body fat, but it's because of that energy imbalance. In regards to body fat, everyone has like kind of like a set point that's different for them. So some people can easily maintain like a 15% body fat and be completely fine and get their period and like whatever. But like for myself, for example, like the few times that I've lost my period, one time I was like 
like a scale weight way less than I am now and it was just because I needed to eat more calories and do less less activity and my period came back another time it was because I had to actually gain more body fat than than I thought I would and gain more weight on the scale than I thought I would and it didn't have to, anything to do with how much calories I was eating and how little exercise I was doing so it's really just individualized and it's dependent on the person like I said some of the things that I'm doing to get my period back and some of the things that you guys can try of course again I'm not a doctor and you need to talk to your doctor but first thing you need to look at is are you at a healthy body weight if you are underweight gain weight number one Number two, are you at a healthy body fat? Um, some people are at a healthy scale weight, but their body fat is still 10% or whatever the heck. Okay, sometimes you need more body fat. And like me personally, I think I'm around like 16% body fat right now. That's a lean, healthy physique. Some people get their period, but for me personally, I'm pretty sure that my body likes to be at least 18% body fat to get my cycle. So that's just how I am. Number three to look at, are you eating enough calories? Number four to look at, are you doing too much exercise? And maybe you need to look at all of those things. Um, I know a lot of people suggest taking vitamin D, maybe some magnesium. I've actually taken maca powder before, which is an, an all natural herb or supplement. I really am not sure what it is. And I started taking it again to try to get it back, but it made me really nauseous because I have stomach issues, so I stopped taking it. There's other things, but um, I, know, I know some of those are are good. Make sure you're eating enough fats and make sure you're eating enough carbs. So both fats and carbs and AKA overall calories. And again, like I said, it's because of stress. So if you are like doing all these things, exercising less, eating more, that's, sorry, I just like <laughs> got dead in the car. Um, that is a good step, but make sure you, you know, your, your emotional and mental stress as well. If you are stressing so much over not getting your period, that can be detrimental and cause problems. So I think that's really all that I'm, that I can say right now, but that's just basically like the main gist of things. And I want you guys to remember, if you're not getting your period, that is not normal. And I will keep talking about it on YouTube and on Instagram and things like that. I don't care what anyone says. Obviously if you're on birth control, it's a little bit different, but you know, birth control can mask these issues that you may be having due to too much exercise, too little calories, too much stress, too little body fat things like that. That's why I refuse to go on birth control ever again. I went on it once and I will never do it ever again. I don't care. Again, you just need to remember that we are meant to have a period for a reason. Some people are like, I'm never going to have kids. So who cares? No, you need to care. I don't want heart disease at 50 years old or however old. I want to live a long, healthy, beautiful life. And of course I want babies. And that is one of my main things, but you know, you have to think of your physical health and just do everything you can to reduce the amount of stress that you have. Stress is different than anxiety. I do struggle with anxiety sometimes, but obviously anxiety does contribute to stress. You know, of course, talk to your doctor, make sure it's nothing, not a deeper underlying issue, but a lot of times in the fitness industry, it's due to too low body fat, too low body weight, too much exercise, too little cardio, or all of the above, or some of the above, things like that. So, Again, I just want you to remember and make sure that you are thinking about this and you are making sure that you are healthy in all ways possible. And if you aren't getting your period, it's typically your body telling you that something is not right and they, it's signaling danger basically. And um, I want my body to trust me and love me because it keeps me alive and that's freaking awesome. I want to keep living <laughs> you know what I mean so I hope this helped you guys I'm sure I'll just keep talking about it more and more often but also if you are struggling with this give it time and give it patience some people get it back pretty quickly some people it takes a long time so it's frustrating and it's it's you know it's not it's very frustrating for me at least but just have hope have faith reduce the stress because if you stress about it again that contributes to all the all the stress if you guys have any comments leave the comments below feel free to email me any questions I'll I'll talk about in other vlogs like I will continue to talk about how it's not normal not to get your period and I don't care I will talk about it forever so yeah give it a thumbs up if you guys like this subscribe love you all so much bye